Hello and welcome. This video introduces the flow tool from DVW Analytics, which allows you to build flows of SAP data together with external sources and prepare data sets ready for use within your Power BI environment. The DVW Analytics software is just a plugin to your Power BI environment, allows connectivity to your SAP systems. And you can see here that by getting data from a DVW source, you can connect and create new connections and new data flows. Here you can see the Flow Tool console, which is designed to be really easy to use. You just drag and drop icons into the canvas and decide which data you want. Here we're starting with a CSV file, which contains filters which will be used by the next tool downstream, which is going to be a transaction code tool, the ABAP report tool. We simply connect and pass in those parameters and then configure the tool itself. You just need to input the T code, select the parameters that are relevant or even use a variant and then design the output as you want it to be. Even this is super simple because it suggests configuration items that you might want to use. You can accept them or adjust them accordingly. You can preview the data so you know exactly what is coming from the tool and then at any time run the entire workflow in order to check that the data is coming out exactly as you expect. There's lots more you can do with the tool. So for instance, we can aggregate data. You can see that we can pull the data that's coming out of that T code. And I'm just going to pick the particular business areas here. And I'm going to use those actually as a filter for my next tool, which is an SAP table tool. So you can see we can dynamically control what happens within each tool in the flow. And there's no limit to the number of these tools that you use. In the table tool, we simply select the fields that we're interested in in our output. We filter on any of those fields so that we get exactly the data that we need. And then we can use something like a join tool to take the output from that T code together with the text, these business area texts, which we've dynamically chosen to match our T code data, combine the two and then choose exactly the output that we need. We can even add friendly names for our output. Finally, we're going to add a Power BI output tool, which prepares the data set in the correct format for use downstream. We can check that the output looks good by running it, give the flow a name, and this can now be referenced, and here it is in Power BI itself, and there's the data, ready for use in your analyses. But this isn't just a simple data set. It can also be embedded within Power Query because we have bespoke functions to call each specific data flow that we've created, parameterize those, and build them into our analyses in Power Query. Once we're in Power Query, then we've got all the great functionality there to manipulate the data, prepare it ready for use in our analytics and dashboards. And so when we build our visualizations, we can refresh them with new data from SAP at any time. And it's as simple as using Power BI with any other data set to create beautiful outputs that are reactive and intuitive. I've only touched upon a fraction of the functionality of the new flow tool from DVW Analytics, but if you'd like to see more, then come to our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.